Ladies and gentlemen, Eastern Ukraine is in a state of war. The newly elected Ukrainian president, Petro Poroshenko, stated before his election, a dialogue with all the parties is the only way to achieve lasting peace. However, the first thing he did once in office was to increase the army offensive against his own people. Reuters news agency quotes him saying, the anti-terror operation against pro-Russian powers has now finally really begun. Our correspondent in Ukraine reports. On Monday the 26th of May, heavy fighting took place around Donetsk airport and the main train station. The airport was attacked by helicopters and jets. Very strange questionable fighting happened near Volnovakha, which is between Donetsk and Mariupol. There the Ukrainian army outpost was attacked by unidentified elite troops and under heavy fire was literally destroyed. Those troops arrived in armored vehicles, like those used to transport money and opened fire. Between 13 and 18 people were killed and many badly wounded. There the unidentified assailants put on insignia of the pro-Russian movement for the press. Afterwards they disappeared again. Immediately following, the Ukrainian television reported that the pro-Russians would steal armored transporters and then use them to attack people. In the past few days, also many civilians fell victim to the military attacks carried out by the coup government of Kiev. During an armed conflict in Donetsk, the Ukrainian army opened fire on two transporters full of wounded pro-Russian self-defense units, killing dozens. Why does the Ukrainian coup government, still after the presidential elections, continue to use ruthless beating down of the protests in the East tactically, instead of the promised dialogue? Wouldn't negotiations about more self-determination rights for the Eastern regions, as requested by the pro-Russian side, make more sense? In fact, this is first and foremost about the oligarchy keeping the positions in the East, that is Akhmetov and Kolomoisky. The first controls Donetsk, the second Dnepropetrovsk. I have spoken to many different people in the East, in Severodonetsk. They are in great distress, for there is already fighting going on in their city. In our media, nothing can be seen or heard about the numerous civilians being killed. Please spread this information in order to stop the support by the people for warmongering powers in the West. Until next time, goodbye.